just shy of a first down. A good throw from Roger. Joe back into that fullback spot, replacing Newhouse, and Laidlaw will get the carry and get the Dallas first down. Gerard Williams, the blocking up front by Scott and Donovan. Very good. Second and seven situation right here. Two. Oh. Gerard Williams almost got a hand on that one and perhaps was close to an interception. And Tony Dorsett, as Roger Starbuck operates this time from the shotgun formation. Comes out of it. And out of it. And has the Dallas first down. Finally brought him down from behind, but Roger Staubach in red skin territory. In place of Pearson now, and Jackie Smith goes in motion. Laidlaw. Close to another Dallas first down. Jake Scott had to make the tackle. Great block by Tony Dorsett on the outside, number 33. Oh, Dorsett in the grass to grab Dusek, but more good yard. He does make that little wrinkle right in the line, doesn't he? Richie Pettibone, that's Jack Pardee in the white shirt. Careful, you're right. Straight back. Tony Hill had his hand on it, and we will see Raphael Septien. Joe Lavender, number 20 for the Redskins on the coverage. The bird is out of San Diego State where he was a basketball player, and at 6'4", uh, he really can play the corner about as well as anybody when he's on. There's no score as yet. 8-11 left to play first quarter. And now there is a line drive field goal from Raphael Septien. So Dallas breaks on top with eight minutes, eight seconds left to play first quarter. Dallas leads Washington three to nothing. The extra defensive back in now, the first with Randy Hughes. He called his after five but he won't get him. Deisman is near a first down, but not quite. Wrapped up finally by Benny Barnes. Tony Hill. Got it. Laidlaw near the five. Harold McClinton and Kenny Houston again involved in the stop. Sort of a misdirection play by the offensive line. They looked like they were going to the right side and ran off the skinny block down the weak side. At the Redskins five, it is Dorsett. Dorsett is close to a first down. One from 33 earlier. He's five for five from this distance. Split it. It is now Dallas 6 and Washington nothing with 4 minutes and 35 seconds left to play in quarter number one at Texas Stadium. First and 10 and Washington spreads it out. Weisman gives Riggin. And Big John bangs out, fumbles, Benny Barnes picks it up. Barnes to the 10. Benny Barnes will have it for Dallas inside the 10. And the Cowboys threaten to break it wide open. And that's only the eighth fumble that the Cowboys have recovered of the opposition. Uh, Bob Brunig and Randy White, I believe, caused it. Good block by Nugent on the outside. Gets one of the big, good running backs around. I'm telling you, I think it was Randy White that caused it, number 54. That's Benny Barnes, of course, who picked it up, number 31. It'll be first and goal Dallas at left to play first quarter. Side. Jake Scott and Ken Houston made the tackle. Stop. Starbuck is so cool, though. He waited and waited and waited for McClinton to get in and out of that hole and then ran right at him. Laidlaw had a crack, so did Starbuck. So it should be Dorsett's time now. Laidlaw. He's in. First touchdown rushing for Scott Laidlaw this year. 
at least in the first quarter, pretty much have things their own way. They lead 13 nothing with 3:01 left to play, first quarter. They need 20. Chased by Randy White. Joe Spicer goes down in his grasp, and Ed Jones was there to help. They have two games left yet. Here is Scott Adlaw breaking into the Washington chair and great great over Joe Lavender caught him. To the screen, watch 89's block. He takes Lurch all the way out of your picture. And the hole was about five backs wide. 57-yard run by Scott Laidlaw. By far, Here comes the bird. Say that. Roger Starback. Going deep, but Drew Pearson, he's wide open. Got it. Joe Lavender. Watch the left part of your screen. 55 will come, Hamburger, and then get a late start. And now it's one on one. That's the third touchdown catch for number 88. What a throw, huh? Beautiful throw, right on. This could be a long day for Jack Barty, Dreskin. A short one for those folks. 20 to nothing. Great to have you here. Love this football, huh? Thomas slips down. first down. The draw to Preston Pearson is not successful. Uniform. <laughs> Theismann under pressure is down in the grasp of Harvey Martin, who came inside and Randy White went out. Before halftime, Dallas 20, Washington nothing. Again, Theismann has to go up side, side, and he's hit by Danny White and Ed Jones at the same time, and Gene Fugit as the ball knocked loose by Charlie Water. Theismann is down. Fans and Redskins, and there is Billy Kilmer. Kilmer's got three touchdowns, a couple of interceptions, left and so do the Cowboys. Billy Kilmer then, the quarterback. Randy White almost got him before he could hand it off. But Mike Thomas breaks a couple of tackles, gets outside the 40 or to about the 42 before Cliff Harris brought him down. The Redskins had one yard passing, 44 rushing for a total of 45 yards, 295. Dallas is almost to their game average in the first half. Brass yell, Septian blind drive kickoff is taken by one of the upmen. The 38 is Gerard uh, Clarence Harmon. Sorry. Now he is back. It's 20 to nothing Dallas in the event you just joined us. And that's Mike Thomas. Hit in the hole by Charlie Waters and Thomas just broke that tackle. That's the longest Redskin run of the day. Seven yards pick up make it. And second and three. And this is John Riggins to the short side. And Riggins is met by Charlie Waters. And this time he takes him down. He did not get enough for a first down, I don't believe. Operating from straight at midfield. Third and one. Riggins and Thomas to set back. And Tyson's going to throw it. And he does to Riggins. First down for the Redskins in Dallas territory. This is the best looking drive already today for Rush. Nice move. Kept you get the tight end in to double up on Ed Jones. Drive of the second half. Riggins gets the call. Riggins breaks into the secondary, hurdles over Cliff Harris, and gets about eight. Last time in this situation, Theisman ran that sprint out pass. Time of Thomas, and he is taken down and defeated by Ed Jones with some help. 48 yards out. Theismann will hold, and Mosley drills it. He is 7 of 11 from that distance. Right down the middle. 8 for 12 from outside the 40. It starts in motion, stays in motion. Roger Starback gives the center goal set. Dorset squirts into the secondary. Mike Curtis made the tackle. Starback. Runs for the first down. Yeah, yeah. 
shotgun for Roger Starback. Jump shot pass for Tony Hill. He's got it. Starback just threw it up in the air, short deliberately, it looked like. If the ball had been thrown like Roger wanted to throw it, Bird Lavender's in great shape. He turns to go up. Now he should be looking for the ball and does. But Hill comes back, and it looks like Lavender might trip on the rug and stumble for a moment. The ball was up there a long, long time. Almost looked like Tony Hill knew that he was going to throw it short like that. That had a hang time of about five seconds. I don't think it was meant to hang quite that much. Can start to break and then does break, and Roger Starback goes down just barely. Carl Lorch tripped him up, and we should see Septian. Well, we told you about before. Jeff Roku, however, is expected to play the next series. Here is Septian. This one he hit. 43 yards out for Raquel Septian. Makes it. The Dallas Cowboys 23, the Redskins 3. 709 left in the third quarter. 34 defense, too, by Washington. Dave Butts in front of center John Fitzgerald and Roger Starbuck. As a pass kicked off by Gerard Williams. Starts back up the sideline and out of bounds he goes in front of the Dallas Panthers again. Simply Square, Tony Hill knocking out of bounds. A bad tackle, I suppose. Bad temper. First no foul. Late hit out of bounds. Number 80, defense. First down. 80. led by Thomas Henderson. And Charlie Waters, the safety man, they really support. He and Harris are incredible at... <laughs> it's third down, and Riggin has some room. But not for long. Where and Kyle cut him down, and Thomas Henderson hit him high. Mark Mosley comes back again. This will be by Mark Mosley from 53 yards out. Locked, reflected, and they're saying get away from it. Wisely so. Blocked by the guy who is 6'9", Ed Jones. And when you block one of Park Mosley's as high as he gets the ball, you better be 6'9". The football at uh, their own 36. The handoff is to Dorsett. 11 or 12 flags again. Joe Lavender made the tackle, but Tony Dorsett has a Dallas first down. The play. Oh, face mask. Hey, he goes outside of it anyway. Now, the, must grab the face mask after uh, our picture there. Oh, now we're under mo underway again. Face mask, defense, stop. Yeah, there it is. First down, Dallas. Is to go set the throw. Pearson to the 10. Out of bounds at the three. Joe Lavender through Pearson. At the two. Laid Law has it. It took him. Benny Malone and John Riggins. Now the running backs, and that's Benny Malone. He is wrapped up immediately by Randy White and Larry Cole. Tough to start on third and ten. Joe Feisman has to right now. Mike Thomas flag is down already. More than up for Washington first down, but penalty flags. As Randy Hughes and Cliff Harris converge to stop Mike Thomas. Nice one is hit by Keith Jones just as he let it go. 
Ed Jones straight all around Theismann's head. The pass intended for John McDaniel and Tuchel. It's going to be met and congratulated by Ernie Stockton. And goes Theismann and Dave Stalls was the hitter. A flag is down also. I think Randy White was held. He left the play. Dallas 30, Redskins 3. Here they come again. Randy White got a hand on it. Slapped it away. Third and long. And Harris. So we have 945, 949 make it left to play with Dallas leading 30 to 3. They are just directly over the playing field itself. Danny White gives to Tony Dorsett. He breaks around to the outside and has a Dallas first down before he's shoved out of bounds by Joe Lavender. Set and Wade Law, the running backs. Robert Steele came in motion, and Wade Law goes for about seven or eight. That's straight ahead. He's had a good day. 121 yards for the day. Dorsett. About a yard shy of a first down before he's stopped by Harold McClinton. Roger Starbuck finished up 9 for 19 for 218 yards. Danny White has it. Quick count first down. Brad Dusek on the tackle. But Dallas first down with 8-18 left to play. The Cowboys lead 30 to 3. 745 left to play as Danny White gives to Dorset. He broke the top of the tackle. Mike Curtis finally got him down. Tell you, McClinton had him nailed in there, had him nailed inside, and second down, Dallas. The Washington 48, there is Preston Pearson. The Cowboys rip off another first down. Harold McClinton made the tackle. Split wide to the right, Jackie Smith comes in motion. Switch is back to Larry Brinson. And Brinson oh. down the sideline, Larry Brinson might go in. Here it goes. came in with four carries, a minus two yards, and he just broke it off for a touchdown, his first of the year. Hi, number 36, Larry Brinson from Florida. And some of these are bad tackles, and some are just because the young person is playing for the first time, and he's probably got adrenaline you would not believe. Yeah, there's some bad tackles, too. Larry Brinson at one time this year was back coaching at the University of Florida. The Redskins three. We still have five minutes and 23 seconds left to play in this contest. Uh, Dallas has got this one. Half, but he never, never came in. He got one play. One huh? play. That's right. He did. John McDaniel wrestled out of bounds by Dennis Thurman. Having the score. Tyson drops straight back, fires in for Ricky Thompson again. He cuts it down to the outside. Dennis Thurman chasing him. And Thurman will take him out of bounds inside the Dallas 20. The yard pickup on that last play. Tyson drops again. And too tall Jones is close. And touchdown Redskins to Gene Fugit. Charlie Waters back there with him, but that's the first pass Fugit's caught today. The Cowboys will take over first place in the NFC East. Their record will go to 9-5, and 9-4. Uh, Titus has been taken <laughs> out by the Locusts. We congratulate Mr. Bruno Pucci on that work. <laughs> Someone told us that uh, he'd been working on that for two years. And Preston Pearson behind Danny White. Preston. Brinson, and he struggles for near first down yardage. We have a minute and 41 seconds left now. Not put it up. Brinson did struggle for that first down. Well, we saw him. They look as good as anybody. That's Brinson again. And he bangs down for another first down. Big Larry Brinson. He goes about 220. He's stopped by Mark Murphy. Just on the ball, huh? He's saying, take off your shoe. Let's see what's in there. There goes Tom Landry. Burton Lawless trots by. But Landry has his team back in first place. As 
as they head up the tunnel. Their record will now be nine and four, and Washington will be eight and five. And for Tom Brookshire, will say thank you. And this is Pat Summerall saying, Brent Musburger, it's yours. Tony Dorsett, the beast from the east. <laughs> Tony, how you doing? I tell you, let me tell the country why we're standing out here on the on the stadium. You know, the, the Dallas Cowboys started a new policy today that you could not interview the ball players in the locker room. So we had to grab Tony Dorsett and Scott Laidlaw and uh, Roger Staubach out here on the field, and I really appreciate you stopping down here to talk to us, Tony. How do you feel? You had a big day. I feel great. Uh, uh, you know, we played a super game. It was a must game for both clubs, and. I think we came out after the short layoff and, and we played some superb football. It was a must, like I said, must game for both teams. But I think we arose to the challenge. Let me put you on the spot, Tony. You had a lot of trouble handling the ball early with fumbles. The last few weeks you've handled the ball pretty well. Have you done anything different? Are you just concentrating about hanging on to the ball? What have you done? Well, I think it just goes back to concentration, going back to fundamentals. I think it was a whole problem with our whole team, I think, for, for about a month's span. You know, we were down and everyone was counting the Cowboys out. Because we weren't, I don't think, mentally prepared. We were waiting for people to go out and do things, make things happen. Instead of going out and, uh, sorry, we were waiting for things to happen. Instead of going out and make things happen. And it was the same with myself. I think it was just a little lack of mental concentration. After I went back into practice and started concentrating on holding football, uh, it's worked out for me quite well the last couple of weeks. Tony, thanks very much. Congratulations again. Brent, here he is. Scott Laidlaw had a real big day and had, of course, a big pair of shoes to fill today because Robert Newhouse was out and you did a big job, uh, Scott. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it was just an enjoyable day today. It's the best way to spend Thanksgiving and get everybody in the game. And uh, I fortunately had a pretty good day, and we had a terrific day blocking on the line. You know, in all honesty, I mean, you've been here for a while. You know the Dallas Cowboys system well. Robert Newhouse is a starting fullback. You've played a lot of football down here, and you've always played well, haven't you? Well, I, it's been enjoyable. I always seem to get up for the occasion. The last time I started, I think I had the same stats the first half. And uh, I've just had some real good luck. It seems as though the offensive line has, has blocked well just about the time I get in, so it's been tremendous. What kind of a ball carrier are you? What kind of style of carrying the ball do you have? Would you say you're a power back, a quick back? A, what kind of football player is uh, Scott Lee? Oh, maybe a little bit of a small Larry Zonk. I don't have a lot of speed. You see, I got caught from behind. But uh, I just have probably try for a good body lean and, and uh, go where there nobody else at. Scott, thanks very much. Congratulations. Nobody else was there. 37 to 10, the Dallas Cowboys. Brent.